Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. Today I am doing a video with a drawing that one of my boys did. One of my boys drew this awesome character concept of this lava monster with these two gigantic mace balls with spikes and he handed it off to me. Well, I've seen a lot of different people who do videos where they take their kids drawing or their kids character concept that they've created in their design and they redo it with their artistic abilities and bring it up to a the skill level of a experienced artist and so I've always wanted to do one of those and I saw this drawing and I thought hey that's really cool I think that would be a lot of fun to play with so I decided to pull it on into Photoshop and I did just that so to start off I did a couple of different sketches of this creature and I presented it to my son and I let him pick out one of the three that he liked the best that would that he felt was most like his character that he wanted to see fleshed out and done in detail. So this first one I did is just a straightforward per perspective of him similar to the one that he drew and then the second one I wanted to do a little bit different perspective although it looks pretty similar it's kind of a perspective as if you were standing on the ground in front of him kind of looking up at him so he's at an angle kind of backwards so you know, you got that perspective of looking up at this gigantic thing to kind of give them this feeling of being massive. And then this last one I did, I wanted to kind of do something a little different than just the front pose and get him doing some sort of action shot, swinging one of these giant balls hanging onto the chain. And the winner of the sketch off was the second one, the one kind of looking up towards him. That's the one my son liked the best and wanted me to work on. So I took that one and let's see what happens to it. At first I assumed that the circle in the middle of his forehead was his eyeball and that he was a cyclops creature, but my son showed me the, those little red slants and showed me that those were assuredly his eyeballs and that put in these eyes on the sides of the circle and the circle in his forehead he said was a gem, a, some sort of fire gem or power gem that gave him his, his powers. Now this whole process took probably about two and a half hours and I'm going to try to edit this a lot shorter than I normally do. I know my last video ended up close to 20 minutes so I'm gonna try to keep this around five minutes hopefully I can stay true to that and it's gonna be jumping through the progress pretty quickly at first I drew his hands holding on to this weapon with the handle and I felt like his drawing looked that way and then I looked at it again later and it looked like he was just holding chains and then I realized later on when I'm almost done with the drawing that it probably did have a handle I could have just asked him but I tried to just look at the drawing well anyways I, I took the handle off of it and just had him holding on to the chains for this drawing Part of the reason why this drawing took me so long was just, just because these chains take a lot of tedious detailing work to get all the different links in there. It ends up looking really cool with all the chain links in it, but it just does take an extra, an extra bit of time to get them all detailed like this. I'm changing up his weapons quite a bit because I don't want to just have a typical symmetrical mace ball on here. I don't know what you call it, a morning star or something like that when it's disconnected. I don't know. I don't know my weapons, but I know it has its own unique name. But anyways, I'm kind of giving it a few different styles of spikes onto this thing. Make it look like he's he's hit quite a few things with it. So some of the spikes are bent, some of them are missing. He's got big old craters in this boulder that he's been using to hit things from hitting it in a certain spot so many times. I kind of envision him taking his chain and dipping it into like hot lava, slowly building up over time. Layers and layers of this magma hardened into his weapon on his chain. So right now I'm just trying to get the line art all finished up and finalized so I can go ahead and start adding some color onto this guy. So far it's looking pretty cool. It's fun putting all these little extra touches onto it and kind of making them come alive. Making this second weapon I did copy and paste it over and then I erased some parts to make it like it's not so obvious so exact and symmetrical one to the other and I take shortcuts whenever I can get away with it you know trying to work smart you know trying to save some time where I can and just erase some things and make it unique I like how in my son's drawing he has, he has these rocks placed all over his body for his armor plating just kind of rocks that are stuck into his magma body it's kind of cool kind of fun just adding some detail to these making them a little bit more realistic I don't know if realistic's the word because Still pretty cartoony and stylized, but just kind of making them more apparent that they are rocks. 
some details in there, some cracks and some texturing. Right here I'm utilizing another shortcut, copied and paste the first hand. I wanted to make sure I got the hands a similar size. I don't want the second one to be exactly the same, so I'm just using the warp tool to kind of shape it how I want it on this chain here, and then I'm just gonna draw over it. Now the line art is all done, and I wanna skew him a little bit so it does kind of give that perspective of him being up above and towering above a little bit better. Now I'm just thickening the outline on this thing and I might have gone a little too far. I do tend to stylize my drawings with a thick outline. I just like the way it looks most of the time. Now this video is already pushing five minutes and it is not even colored yet. So I'm gonna really skip through this coloring session as fast as I can just to kind of show the process but it's not really gonna be showing much of the same level of detail and explanations as I've had so far on the line art. So I'll just blur through that and grab a, a palette from Drawception actually. A fun little website game if you ever want to check out something and just be creative and draw a quick little 10 minute drawing it's just like the telephone game and you can play online and draw with your mouse or draw with a tablet if you have it this is the fire and ice palette which i really like i don't know just these these bright orangish reds just really pop as as fire and magma are concerned, very volcanic magma looking colors. I'm just making an environment for him, and I didn't spend very much time on this, just kind of to kind of put him in some sort of element so he can kind of have more character to him. And now, without further ado, let's check out the magma monster, side by side with the original concept drawing by my son. <laughs> Hopefully you liked that video. I thought that was a lot of fun to do and I probably am going to do more because now that I did one, the boys saw it and they liked it and they are already lining up and calling dibs on the next one. I've got a waiting list now and I like doing it so hopefully you enjoyed watching this because there's more to come. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, please consider subscribing if you like my content. If you have any ideas for creative projects you'd love to see me take on on this channel, go ahead and comment those below and I'd love to give them a try. And just a reminder, my goals for this channel are to inspire creativity, motivate one another, and to hopefully build a community of like-minded creatives. Thanks so much for hanging out and peace. Do people say peace out anymore? <laughs>